Hi, it's Malcolm here, and welcome to another video. Um, <clears throat> I'm having to use different software this morning because my normal recording software has this kind of activation system, and the server's down, so it can't activate, so it won't allow me to record. So I'm not sure about this software, but hopefully it's going to be okay. So um, in this video, I want to go over the main score cow system again. Um, I'm going to try and do um, enough races to make a profit. So basically, we're going to go over a number of races. Um, I'll probably stop and start during each race, um, and then and talk you through why I might have gone on the race, why I might not have that kind of thing as as we go along. Um, today, my bank balance is at three hundred and seventy three. I'm using a stake of three pound fifty and a stop loss of ten times that, which is three thirty five pound. Um, so you know stupid less of my bank I mean you know I could easily go a lot higher and I, I may well do that but one percent to me represents a good value if I have a bad day or whatever but a lot of people would be sitting there going well why don't you do you know 10 or 20 or 30 and I will um but you know, most people can't do that and it's it's pointless me showing large amounts of money when most people can't do it but the the point is it's the same whether I put £3.50 on there or £10 or whatever, there's enough money on the markets to be matched. It might take a little bit longer, but it'll, it'll get matched. Um, so as you can see, I'm using the software again, which the first race is in six minutes. So before we go there, let's just talk you through some of the basics. Um, so th there are things that you need to think about and things that you need to look out for. But generally, the idea is simple. We go to score and we look for the lowest now, I always like to be on the first or second. I prefer to be on first, but second. And sometimes the first and second are pretty similar scores. Now, that's one of the things you need to have a think a, li a little bit about. When, like this race here, there's a three and a five and four sixes. So it's not bad. I actually prefer to see sevens down there. I think I've always said that. You know, if I see seven or eights down there, that, that always makes me a little bit more happy. But generally, you know, I want to be on the lowest and I don't want too many others to be low as well you'll come across races where they might all be threes and fours and fives you, you probably want to think about avoiding that if you can and um, so the price i use is between three and 5.9 i like to say 5.9 or 5.99 because i don't want to do six you know i don't go and i also look at the backside and if this was 5.9 on the backside i probably wouldn't take it even if it was close it's just a bit too close to that six and this is okay five five that kind of thing is okay but five nine five eight and then i think twice about doing it like this one here 6.2 i definitely wouldn't also i look in the last minute and so if, it, if it's kind of going up and down between you know five eight and six sometimes you'll, you'll see these ranges of five eight to six four or something like that i'd probably stay away from it as well because it's bound to end up somewhere around that price um, and so I'd go on to the second one. At the moment, that's probably OK. And as you can see, this one's coming in as well. Now, this is suddenly jumped to, to seven on the lay, but you can't really trust the lay side this far out. You know, and I, I wait until the last 20, 10 seconds. If 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 it looks like it's not going to go um, that much higher, um, and we're about a minute before and I'm in a rush or whatever, I may well take it, okay? But the next thing we need to do, now that we've got the score low, um, we need to look at the cow. So let's just say we were gonna go on our little V, although that looks like we're going out at the moment. So we've actually got our little V and horse sleep molly, okay? So between those two, let's, let's say we're gonna go on one of those probably before the off, okay? So we now sort by cow, okay? So you have to click it twice on my software, um, on this particular software but make sure the lowest number is at the top and if you read down you can see so all sleep molly is at the top and kits min um sorry our little v is the third down so they're both within this four range i never go over the four so basically it's the top two lowest score and as long as it's in the top four as far as cow is concerned unless that top four has taken it like into the 20s then i might think twice about doing it um but at the moment, these two are one and three, so um, they're fine. So I go back to score um, and lowest score. Now, at the moment, it looks like both of them are going out. There's a strong favourite, and what tends to happen 
when you get a strongish favourite. Um, the rest of the prices can go out above six. Not always, but can be. So we may well be on Hall Sleep Molly, or we may well be on our little V. We just have to wait now. So we've got two minutes 40. Um, if I just pop quickly over to the next race and we do a score check on this one, and we can see that none of these are in a price, but we've got a score one, two, three, six, eight. So this isn't bad if one of these top two were in our range. The confidence of this race, um, the confidence is medium on this race, so that's not too bad. The confidence is low on this, which means we haven't got that many results to go on. Um, and so, you know, we have to be a little bit careful with that. Um, Muxton Teddy and Westmead Alley. See, um, Westmead Alley is at the top. Muxton Teddy is, is there. So again, these would be fine. Um, it's just the prices are a little bit out at the moment. Um, I would prefer three of these to be over the kind of five, six mark. Um, but again, you know, you have to kind of think about it. I've got a low score here and I've got an eight there, which kind of helps. So, um, but it is, it is nice. And we've got a couple of 20 percenters, whereas in this race, we've got one 20 percent, just over 20 percent. So you kind of, I sometimes weigh this up. It depends on how well things are going and that. But, but really, you know, I, I want to get on as many races as possible, but I don't want to compromise um, if I feel that a race is, you know, this one does worry me because there's no sevens here. There's no doubt about that. But I, I want to go through these cards and um, show you what's going on. Um, the other thing I look out for is missing runners. If one of our runners is not running, it doesn't mean there won't be six runners in the race. It just means one of ours isn't running. So we always, um, you know, are, are careful with that. Yeah, well, that's kind of basically the things to consider. Right, we're getting down to 44 seconds. Now, this one is actually 5.5. Now, you might be saying, well, let's go on, let's go on the cheapest one. But I'm just, I just want to watch this for a few more seconds just to, to check. Um, it's a little bit high. Um, and it's a little bit hard to tell. I may well have to go on the second one because it's still that's quite high. Um, if I can get it far down, that's okay. I can get it down there. That's fine. Um, so I'm going to go on that one now, and we we'll just see what happens in the last. The problem is we don't know if this race is going to go off late, um, and if it goes off late, that price could well change, and we could be on the wrong one. But you see, this price is going out now as well, and we're going back out again. So. It's always the risk you 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 do when you're when you're playing around with these fives. To be honest with you, I don't like them this high. I got to admit, I you know I really prefer them lower than this. But you know, your chances of losing on a high one are, are, are pretty slim anyway. But um, you know you can lose on them, and when you do, it's it's a big hit to your bank that you have to make up. But that's gone off on time, and we were uh, presumably in that price. So what we're going to do is I'm not I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to come back um, closer to this one and we'll have a look at this race and see what's happening then. OK, so as you can see, we actually won on our little V, but we could have easily if we would have gone for the cheapest at the time. Um, Horse slip Molly, we would have lost on that one. So that's the reason I do prefer to go for the top one if I can. But, you know, it works. It does work some sometimes. And, you know, you the thing is about. Um, when you're doing any method, you are going to lose. There's, you know, there's no doubt about it. The, the point is, we're trying to lose as least as we po often as we possibly can, and so the the better, the the more often things fall into place for us, the better. Um, but you still, it won't always happen. You will lose. And um, but we've we've got our first three pound fifty today. Um, so we we'll go to the next race, and I, I'm pretty sure I don't know. This one might come down, so we'll keep an eye on this for the next minute. Um, and see what happens at the moment it seems um, a little bit high but I get a feeling it may well drop in the last minute Oft often prices do um, drop down before the off when more and more money comes into the market um, and it's like six and six thousand pound in there at the moment so um, we just wait but it's I don't know it might not um, so again, we know the score is fine, and Muxton and Westmead, we've already done the cow on that. Um, Westmead and Muxton are both within that four as well, so we're fine as far as that's concerned. There is an eight in this race, there is a six. Um, I Like I said before, I prefer three of them. 
I mean, in that last race, that did worry me a little bit there. And, you know, it, it proved that's a five and, and that that won the race. So, you know, we weren't far out. So being in that score of three, five is like my top limit score, really. That's the one I, I, I you know, I will go on. But let's have a look. It doesn't look like it's going to happen for us on this race. Um. I always go at the off here. Now, you could watch the race, of course, and give yourself some more time, which is not a bad idea. And sometimes I do it. But switching backwards and forwards to the feed when I'm recording is a, always a difficult thing to do. So I'm just doing it based on off time. What I will do is if I find a race isn't going off on time and it looks like it's really delayed, I will just go back and trade out and then avoid that, that um, market for the rest of the day, um, unless it looks like they catch up later on. But generally... Um, I just don't like playing around with markets that, are, you know, are late. So this one's a bit late. Um, that price has dropped, but it's not. I mean, it looks like it's pretty steady. And I would say, you know, now, there you go, it's gone off. So we've missed that race. So what I do is I come back for the next one, um, which is in about seven minutes time. OK, so we're coming up to the start of this race and we've got one under um three here and um one above it so we're kind of like this is you know too low under our three although i must admit sometimes i do like taking these on um just for the simple reason the liability is low let's just see where chevjet comes as far as cow is concerned so see he's in the top two so we would not touch that i i may consider it sometimes when when they're in the top four, especially if they're up here, but when they're in the the the, the last two um, or or the top two of the cow range, I tend to leave them alone. But they are always tempting um, to take on. Um, but if we go back to score, then we don't have any others. And see, all these scores are the same. This is where sometimes you can get a little bit um, carried away. And this is why the sort's gone slightly different this time, is because there's all three twos there. OK, and sometimes the sort, uh, the sort is kind of slightly different depending on where you do it from, um, especially on this software. So this Ollie Sabbath comes into play um, when you. So if I went back to Cal now and then score again and you can see Sevjet is now at the top. It's just because the, the, all three of these twos and it depends on how which way where you last sorted. Um, but in this case, all three of those are liable because they're all twos in effect. They're all the same. And that's when you kind of have to think about, well, should I take a chance on Al Olive Sabbath? So let's have a look, quick look of the cow on Olive Sabbath. So it is within the range um, and the price is coming down. So let's have a look at this. Um, sorry, go back to score. Um, there are sixes and sevens here, so it's quite interesting. I'm going to go for it and we'll see what happens. Um, and it could, it could, you know, the other thing is I, I, I do like it when these are like, they are separated. So we've got three twos. I prefer like two, three, four, or five or two, five, five, six, sevens and stuff like that. So it is again, a little bit of a risk and I may pay for that. Um, but I, you know, I wanted to show you that that's one of the things when you've got multiple runners with the same, um, number. And these are the kind of decisions you have to little, think about a little bit. And anyway, um, I'll come back and we'll see where we are in a couple of minutes. OK, so we won, won on that one. Um, it, it worked. It was the lowest um, and it could have been one of those three. As I said, I don't like him. I prefer, you know, I prefer to come to a race like this and be on this one as long as that wasn't the, the highest cow or in those top two. That That's how I like them. But. Um, that doesn't always work. And as you can see, we're probably not going to be able to go on this race because um, this is at 7.4 and it's got to drop quite a bit to get into our um, three to five range, which is unlikely when you've got these two down here um, already trading around that price. So it looks like we're not going to be on this race. Now, I've got one, two, so my, um, but yeah, we're not on that race. That's st still at 6.8. So the next race is three minutes away. Let's do a score check. So this might be one, Heather, uh, Heather Pearl, terrible pronunciation, as you know. Um, let's see where that is. So that's at the top. So this is this could be a nice selection. Um, 
there's all these other sixes here, so you would hope that, you know, this is the one selection that isn't going to win the race. But as far as everything else is concerned, this is this is looks like quite a good selection. We just need to hope that it stays below this 5.6. So, so it's interesting today, we're not, so far, we haven't had, all of our selections have been in the fives. We haven't had one, you know, even in a four, or you know, certainly not in threes, but you know, all of our selections have been... Um, in the five so yes it's, i hate that sometimes because you know you're you're at almost maximum liability all the time but this this runner looks like it's going to be okay just hang on a few more seconds just to before we put the bet on just see if we can get a slightly better price because it seems to be dropping a bit but then it could just suddenly jump up again so it's hard to tell um, but it looks like we're going to be in the 5.2 5.3 mark so we'll go for this yeah we'll go now so we're matched, as you can see there, it's come up as matched. Um, I probably haven't explained a lot about the software as we go along, but I, I try to over the next few bets. So um, I think I've covered that, you know, this is my bet size, this is my stop loss. Um, that's my bank balance at the moment um, because I've just placed a bet. So my bank balance obviously been reduced a little bit. Um, the session time is one hour 56, but I haven't been on it. Well, it's just I started it early because I was trying to plan this video. That's that's longer than we're happy. These are things that we have to put in um, because of Betfair and um, the Gambling Commission. They like a session time. Um, they like you to see your balance and everything straight away. Um, so there, the um, by going on there, you can change your stake type. I like um, stop loss. A sure bet is basically it puts a slightly higher price bet in or. In this case, because Betfair, if you if I put a lay bet in at five, Betfair will not lay over five, and the prices are moving all the time. I you can add some ticks to it, so one, three, five, or ten, um, so that it puts a slightly bigger bet, a higher bet in. So you've got a good chance of still being matched if the prices are moving up and down. If you don't want to, you know, do that, then that's fine. It just it gives your chances of being matched a little bit more if you like. You can change the color schemes and to light and dark, back to betting. Um, so we're coming up to the next race. Um, let's do a score check. So, um, oh, we've got first one at, f at three at the moment. I'm not sure if it'll stay that before the race, but we'll have a look. It might drop below the two. Now, um, we talk about that. Uh, let's just check the cow. Um, So yeah, the cow's fine as well. It's right at the bottom, as you can see. Probably look sometimes. I I do that, and then I look down, and I think I could probably see that quite easily by just going. Yeah, that's probably the lowest, but it's always good to sort it anyway. Um, and we won that last race, so our bank's up to ten pound fifty now. We need two more wins basically to reach our, our limit. The problem is now we're going on a favourite. Now it doesn't matter what you say when you go on favourites, you take a higher risk. Um, so you have to decide whether you want to take that risk on the favourite. Now, a favourite in the freeze is not a strong favourite, obviously, but it is still a favourite. Um, now, looking at this race, we've got some five, sixes and sevens. We've got a cow of 40. Now, it is on a on a pretty big outsider, so it's not that big a deal. And we're down at 9.35. So I'm probably reasonably confident on laying this runner i mean as i said the minute you you take on a favorite you're taking on that risk and you might want to leave it and not take on favorites but at three point well this is now 3.65 um i'm going to take this favorite on and i'm getting a bit worried that the price is moving up so i might go in a little bit early with this one um just see if i get it there you go um oh that's no, dropping it again no it's kind of going to be where it is. I, I sometimes do that. If I think the price is going to drop, go up a little bit, I'll try and get a little bit better price. And it has gone up. So I kind of, at the moment, um, yeah, I think that was worth doing. It's probably not going to go into the uh, sixes. So um, it's not a bad price to take on. Um, and I've I've gained a little bit from it. So let's go to the next race. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose that. Um, you know, it's a favourite. That happens. Um and we have to accept that. So this is another one of these races where um, you know, the prices are starting to come down again. Now, so this might be too low when we come to it. But um, all sixes. And I always, like I said, I, I kind of like these to be in the seven and eights. And we're going to be on a favourite again by the looks of it if this does come back above three. 
Um, and this might be one race where I kind of go, mm, I'm not too sure I'm going to go on a favourite on this race. Um, let's have a look at Cowwise. So Holly Oak, Oak Cure, Laura. Holly Oak, Laura. So second um, as well. So again, yeah, I don't know. Um, it, it's one of those things you decide whether you, you're going to risk because it's low liability and you've still got a good chance of winning on it, you know, even though it's under three. Um, but the, the system is three to um, six. It's just that sometimes you can make decisions, but I'm not sure I'm going to make it on this race. If there was, if I do like the fact that there's three 21s there um, and they're not, you know, that price isn't too bad. Um, that price isn't too bad. And it kind of, it, it, you know, you kind of wonder whether it's worth doing. And, and you can see that actually I'm sitting here mumbling about it. And I really shouldn't be. But we're just, we're just wait to see what happens. It might go above the three. And again, but we are, are going to be on a, on a, um, a favour again. So, you know, that's, that's the risk you want. Um, if you notice that we've won on that one as well. So basically we need this one last winner. So it's whether we take a risk on this one. Um, uh, and I'm not going to. Not now. It's, it's kind of dropped down. I don't. I just don't like these sixes. The price has dropped down again. And, you know, we can come back to that. We can always go back to and see who the winner was. So in that one, it was um, Slay and Rose. And so we won on that one. Um, so we can come back and see. Oh, the price is going over three again. Oh, it's only just over three, though. Let's just see what happens. It's only just over three, see? I think I'm going to regret doing this. But I'm not going to. I'm definitely not going to do it now. So we move on to the next one. So what I'll do is I'll stop the video now. we come back to see if we made the wrong choice there. But we, um, I'll stop the video now and we come back for this race in a bit. OK, so you can see that if, if we had taken on that favourite, we would have actually won. And one of those sixes did come in. I, I did say that that cow at 21 was quite high. So, um, But anyway, we didn't take the chance. It wasn't within our three to six range. So that's not a bad thing. Um, the next race, uh, I don't think we're going to have much on this one either. Um, we got four threes, a four and a six. And again, you know, I don't want to take just The thing is, now that you might find this that you know when when you first start off you're obviously thinking well i've got five races to win so i i, I want to get going but when you've won four of them um and you need one one more to, to to make your target you obviously get a little bit more careful because you know you're, you're up you don't want to lose that all if you don't have to um and so you 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 will get probably a little bit more careful about what you do but you know that like that one i i suppose probably on after thought it would have been a, a good one to take on but you know why risk it i've got loads of greyhound races all day i don't have to risk it and i could go away now and come back in an hour's time and, and see what else is available um but we're not going to be on anything in this race and I, I don't like it full stop you know four threes four and six i could be on any one of these um and if we go if we instead went by cow so we've now got a rating of three um and we could take on any of these, um, but it, it just becomes all that more confusing. Um, do I take on the least price or do I take on the top? You know, um, th that's that's the argument. I mean, you know, do I do it or do I just wait? So in in this respect, I think I'm going to wait. Now, I'm going to leave that there because I might have made the wrong decision again. Um, the other thing is, is don't forget the cow system would actually allow you to take that on. If we do, if we just done it by cow the top four um and the best price that that one would well walked or um roll away bailey would be you know either to take on in fact yeah that one we wouldn't you know we were talking about the top three we could take on any of these and as they're the lowest i just don't like the fact that there's not much else in the race so i'm going to leave that one um and we come back to the next one which will be in well we won't actually because if we have a look at the next one, we've got all scores of six. And um, yeah, we've got all scores of six, one of eight. 
Um, so that's not gonna that's not gonna happen. So the next one is this one. So I don't know. We'll have just have to see what what comes again. Again, there's free freeze, and and this is how it works. Sometimes is you go through races, and you just have to accept that not all of them are going to be within parameters, um, or that we want them to be. But there will be enough every day um, that will be in or where we want to be. So what I'll do is I'll um I'll come back when I've found another race um, that's within our um, our comfort zone. Okay, so um, it doesn't look like we're going to be on this race. This is 2.4. Um, again, we could argue that we could choose any of those three. So we could choose Brawland Bear as well, if you didn't mind taking a chance on this race. Um, there's a 2.21s there. There's an 18. So it's not a bad choice, to be honest with you. We've got quite a strong favourite. Um, and I'm just wondering whether it's worth you know the, the the slight risk i i would prefer um more going on here let's just have a look at where it comes in the cow so it's in the top three um and it is in the top three by the score as well um but sorry it is in top three by the cow so it's the lowest score bunched in with those i think i'm in this case and i'm going to go for this and see what happens now this is obviously a, a bit of a risk because of the prices and everything but let's go for it um because again we haven't got a 648 and to be honest with you um i can't spend too much time doing this video so you know i really want to get it over and done with now it might be that i lose on this race and then have to come back and 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 do the rest of the video in but i'm hoping um that i've made the right choice and, and we've done it so if we'd okay so we did we did come through we have one i've got 17 pound 50 pounds so i haven't actually got 17 pound 50 it'd be slightly under that on the betfair account um but my my bank balance is now up to 390 so it's getting near the 400 and um, so that's five wins in a row um i didn't have any losers today which is always good one two three four and there's the fifth and remember we could have won on that favorite as well um but but we um you know we didn't take it on so we could have finished earlier but i think the point of the video is to show you that you know there are some things that you can play about with in in the the process but you know it depends on how safe you want to be i mean that but that, I, overall that that worked out all right five clean wins um and um yeah and and profit and everything else so it's really really good it worked out well um as i said you know when you get to the sixes be a bit careful with those I really don't like going much over 5.5, 5.7 max. Um, whenever I get to 5.9, I normally hit a loser for some reason, so I tend to try and stay a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope it kind of showed you how I use the software, how I, I do my daily betting when I use this system. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.